Good morning, 5K. Let's start off with talking about how many days there are in a week. Do you remember how many days there are in a week? Do you remember? I'm trying to fix the computer there so you can see. Yeah, there are seven. Sing with me. There are seven days. There are seven days. There are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. If yesterday, come on and stay. Oh well, was Wednesday. What day comes after Wednesday? Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Say today is Thursday. Today is Thursday. Awesome. Look, it starts with a TH. So your tongue goes between your teeth to say Thursday. Even though it starts with a T and you'd think it would say t, -t, -t it doesn't because the H is right there. So it says Thursday. Awesome, my sweets. How many months are there in a year? How many months in a year? Now there are 12. You can stand and we will sing. We'll do our dance for the months of the year song. Ready? Sing with me. Here we go. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Those are the months of the year. Good job. You can have a seat. Now remember, if you would like to write and follow along with me for writing the date, ask your daddy, your mommy, or your grown-up that's helping you to grab your whiteboard and you can totally do this with me. Definitely, definitely can. All right, I'm trying to get this just so. All right, what do we write first? When we're writing our Mrs. Barch. We didn't even talk about what the date is. I told you sometimes teachers make mistakes. Say silly Mrs. Barch. Have you said that at school? Oh, 5K, I'm so sorry. If yesterday was September 9th, we know it is Thursday, but we need to put a number here for Thursday. If yesterday was the 9th, what day is it today? What number comes after 9? Yeah, a 10. Do you remember what does a 10 look like? A 10 is a, yes, a 1, and a 0. Oh, what shape comes after a square? A circle. I'm being so forgetful today. All right. I can't wait to have you guys come here and help put all this stuff up. I miss having you guys here to help me. All right. Now we can write the date. Oh, Mrs. Barge. We need to write our month first, don't we? So I need you to tell me what letter starts off our month of s -s September. Letter S, you got it. So it's uppercase because it's the name of the month. It's important, just like your name, you have an uppercase letter. So uppercase S goes up to strawberry, around to vanilla, back and around to chocolate. S, eh, eh, eh. What letter says eh, eh, eh? E, you got it, over, up. And around, s -ap. What letter says p, s -ap. p, trace up and around, s -ap. T -t -t. you got it, letter T, and I'm not going to make a, I don't want this curly little tail in there, no, top to bottom, across on vanilla, s -ap. T -t. E -e -e. Eh, what letter says eh, eh, eh? E, over, up, and around. Sept, M, mm, 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 mm. the letter M, you got it. Start at vanilla, down, trace up, bump, trace up, bump. Septem, b, b, b. What letter says b? B, not a D, be careful, belly to the right. Down, trace up, belly to the right. This is the right side. The belly goes over here, September. Er, what two letters say er? E and R go together to say er. The E there does not say eh. That would be September, eh, er. And no, we just say er. E-R says er. All right, I have my month, check. Then I look 
look down here and I need to write my date. The date today is the 10th. What number goes first? Mm -hmm. A one. And then I need a zero. After my date, I need a cute little comma. You got it. And then last goes my yeah, yeah, year. What number goes first in my year? Yeah, two. What number goes second in my year? A zero. What number goes third in my year? First, second, third. Another two. And what number goes fourth? Yes, a zero. All right, my loves, you can use the cap of your marker, the end of an eraser, anything you would like to read the date with me. Here we go, good morning, Milwaukee. Remember to say September and 10th, here we go. <clears throat> One, two, three. Good morning, Milwaukee. Today's date is September 10th, 2020. Good job, kiss right. Pat yourself on the back. Do an awesome job. Now, if you would like to write this on your whiteboard, you can. Here's our pattern. Say it with me. Ready? Set. Go. Six. Three. Eight. Six. What would come next? What comes after six. Yeah, three. Let's give any time to think. Six. What comes next? What's going to come next? Six, three, eight. Six, three, eight. Smart mathematicians always double check. Are you ready? Give me, I'll give you a little bit of time to write this down if you're writing it on your whiteboard. Here we go, touch and count with me, ready, set, go. Six, three, eight, six, three, eight. Awesome. My loves, if yesterday was day number 11 of school, what number comes after 11? If you don't know, we can count. You could start all the way at one, but that would take too long. I think you know five, right? Let's start here. Five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12. What does a 12 look like? Do you know? What does a 12 look like? Look, there's a pattern. Look, a 1 and a 0, a 1 and a 1, a 1 and a 0, 1, 2, a 1 and a 2, a 12. Oopsie. A 12 is a 1 and a 2. Look. One and a zero, a one and a one, a one and a two. I need to add an extra cube because I only have 11. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. I need to put another one on there. So here's my cube. The chimney's going up. Can I put it on top of this one? No, oh, that one's full. It's at 10 already. I'm going to put it on top of my new little extra tower. One. 2, 11, 12. Now I need to color my square for the 12th day of school because I should have a full 10 and two extras. So I need to color another one, don't I? All right. Then I need to write the number 12. So we always do the tens first. How many full tens do I have? How many full towers? One. I only have one full tower that reaches all the way up to the top. So I have one ten. Say one ten. Awesome. How many extra ones do I have? How many extras? Two. One, two. One, two. So the two goes in the ones place, say two ones. All right, the one is in the tens place. 
the two was in the ones place. The one is in the tens place. The two was in the ones place. We got it. All right, my loves, this is a, yes, how many sides does it have? Zero. How many angles does it have? Zero. This is a square. How many sides? Four. You got it. How many angles? How many corners? Awesome. All right. Let's do our weather graph. Let's sing about what the weather could be like today. Sing with me. What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather like today? Sunny, cloudy, rainy, snowy. What's the weather like today? All right. You can tell the grown-up sitting next to you what you think the weather is like today. You can say, I predict it's... I'm going to tell them because you always want to talk in a complete sentence. I predict it's... When I looked at my phone, it said it was going to be... So let's sing. It's a cloudy, it's a cloudy, it's a cloudy, cloudy day. It's a cloudy, it's a cloudy, it's a cloudy, cloudy day. So when you look at the sky, if it is completely blue, it's a sunny day. But if you look in the sky and you see white things or gray things in the sky, that means it's cloudy, right? So my loves, looking at our weather graph, what kind of weather has the most? Who has the most? Cloudy does. Yeah, Cloudy's now winning. Cloudy has one, two, three. That's the tallest one, isn't it? Who has the second most? The next tallest. Sunny. Sunny has the next tallest, yeah? And who has the third tallest? Green. Yep. And who has the least? Who's losing? Snowy, because Snowy has zero. Say bummer, dude. Yeah. All right, my loves, I will see you soon for math and reading and her story. Bye. Have a good day. Thanks for doing math meeting with me.